Hi Leo, welcome to your you and them May Love Tarot reading. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Leo, we're going to take a look at you and your person and see what's going on between the two of you at this time. So this is a you versus them type of reading, Leo. So Leo, I will be putting you on this side and your person on that side, but anytime you feel like you need to flip, switch, reverse the energies. Please feel free to do that. For Leo and their person, whoever you're thinking of, for this reading, whoever is on your mind. So let's see how you're feeling so far, Leo. So we have release. So we have 13. So this is the death energy. So you could be dealing with a Capricorn or maybe somebody has it in their chart, but doesn't have to be. So this is about maybe, you know, maybe you release something. Maybe you release this person or this connection. It could be permanent. It could be for the time being. But knowing that the best thing for you to do at the time, whenever this resonates for you, was to release this person. Maybe for you to do your own healing and transforming and moving on. Or maybe for them to transform in some kind of way. And we have 13 here, which is four. Four is a very stable energy. So I feel like you did this for your own um, well-being, for your own stability. So let's see what your person has. So we have sadness in isolation. So this is the three of swords energy. So this could be, you know, very heartbroken. You know, maybe they had some sort of third-party interfer interference. You know, it could have been a person, place, or thing. It could be an ex. It could be whatever here. And maybe you knew the best thing to do here was to release them uh, for this connection and just kind of leaving it up to the universe. You know, whatever's meant to be will come in. So they could be feeling, you know, maybe a little hurt and sad, especially if you kind of maybe just released them in this connection for now. And, uh, you know, they could be feeling a little heartbroken here over this whole situation and maybe going around in circles in their head. All right, so let's see what else do we need to know here. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, male or female, general collective. Again, please only take it how it resonates for you, including the signs mentioned. And again, you can flip, switch energies anytime you need to. So welcome in, Leo. Hope everyone's doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. So Leo, the cards you see me placing on the side here for your extended reading, and you can find all that information down below. If this does resonate for you and you would like to go there, Everything you need to know about me in this channel, the decks I use, all my equipment, my lights, everything's down below so you can check that out if you're interested. All right, Leo. What else do we have for you? So we have Starseed. What lights you up? So you could be a light worker. You know, you could be a Starseed if you resonate with that. And with the star here, you know, I feel like, you know, and I know the Starseed energy has a different meaning. I don't know a lot about Starseeds. But if you do feel like you're a star seed, then this definitely could be um, a confirmation for you. If not, if you don't resonate with that title, maybe you're some form of light worker. Um, you know, maybe you're very intuitive. However, that resonates for you. And you know, maybe you have a bright light here that you know you need to shine upon to the world. But with this star seed here, I'm getting with the word star and seed that you know maybe there's been some seeds planted in this connection and you're kind of still hoping and wishing and like wishing upon a star for the best but in a way you knew the best energy here was to release this because it was not serving anyone and maybe it wasn't going anywhere they're definitely feeling it on this side and we have trust your path if you knew what would be support if you knew you would be supported what would you do so they need to trust this path i mean whatever they're going through right now and it may be a very tough time for them they need to trust their intuition. They need to trust their path. Um, and whatever's happening here. Wow, okay. Feels like a little bit of tough energies here, Leo. Right, Leo. So I'm going to look at your energy, and then we'll look at their energy. And again, you can flip and switch whenever you feel like you need to. All right. If you have no interest in this person, then this probably is not your reading. All right. Leo, let's take a look at your energy, okay? Well, we've got three here. So we have, yeah, we have Justice, we have the World, and the Two of Swords. 
So you could be feeling like, you know, your person's a little indecisive here with the Two of Swords. they needing to close out a cycle here, so they need to go on a new path. And justice, it could be that maybe, you know, they're going through a divorce, a separation, or something like that. So we have Libra. We have, uh, with the world here, could be traveling, or maybe there's distance between you. Could be Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, or Scorpio. So, you know, I feel like you're a little, also a little indecisive, you know, not sure what's going to happen here. You know, are they going to close out this cycle? Are they going to transform, transcend into the new? Um, I mean, justice is about divine law and order, truth, clarity, balance, things happening as they should. Um, getting, serving justice. So let's see here. Let's get a few more here for you, Leo. So I feel like you, you probably don't even know, like if they were getting divorced or whatever, you probably don't even know what's happening. You know, did, have they done it? Have they gone through it? So you're, I feel like you're kind of in a dot in the dark, like you really don't know. So you probably felt like, okay, well, I can still kind of hope and wish for the best. The seed has been planted, but I release you for now. That's kind of what I'm feeling. Six of Cups. Yeah, you're hoping for their return. It's like, I release you for now, but I still hope for your return. <laughs> it's kind of what I feel, Leo. Past lives together. Or maybe you knew this person since childhood. Or for a long time. If not, again, you could have had past lives with this person. Seven of Cups. Six and Seven of Cups. If you subtract the Six from the Seven, that will give you the Ace of Cups. So I feel like here, again, a little confused. Uh, disillusioned about this connection. What are they going to choose? What's going to happen? You know, are they going to return for this brand new beginning in love? Oops. Nine of Wands. So, I mean, you could feel a little bad up and bruised by this connection. You know, maybe you've been through a lot emotionally. Um, maybe not so much with the with them. Maybe just you emotionally because, you know, you have love and emotions for them. But yet, yeah, you don't know what they're going through. You don't know what they're doing. Maybe they're not telling you. I mean, there could be no communication at this time or very little. I mean, the world can, to me, always speak of like World Wide Web, so maybe you had some limited um, online communication and maybe they're very private, they kind of put up a wall here and they don't tell you a lot about what's going on for them, so it leaves you kind of like in this disillusioned state. But again, we see the two uh, children here with the, um, the plants and the flowers. There's that seed that has been planted, like I said here with the star seed. Five of Swords. Okay. Knight of Pentacles. We got Taurus energy there. And the Wheel of Fortune. So this could be Sagittarius, Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, or Scorpio, just like the world up there. So, I mean, the Knight of Pentacles, I mean, usually they do come in with a solid offer. It just takes a very long time. That could be Taurus energy. Five of Swords can be, you know, and maybe you're feeling like with this Five of Swords can be about sabotage, self-sabotage, uh, winning at all costs you know, conflict. I feel like maybe you're a little conflicted that did I sabotage this whole this whole connection by kind of releasing them? Maybe you just stopped talking to them um, or whatever here. And maybe part of you is wondering, oh God, I hope I didn't sabotage this connection. Queen of Pentacles underneath there. So again, I think you're hoping for something more stable and grounded, this Capricorn energy, but also knowing your value and worth. Nine of Cups is a single energy, so I do think we are talking about single people here, but somebody who wants their wish fulfillment, happiness, and joy. So you could be just concentrating on yourself right now, you know, trying to stay in a high vibration and saying, you know, if it's meant to be, it will come back around with the world energy here. But it's just too much of a weight to carry right now, just too overwhelming. So that's why Ten of Wands is about releasing that overwhelming energy. But Six of Wands still hoping for that solid offer to come in. Wow. All right. So let's see how your person is feeling. If this is resonating for you so far, Leo, please do give me a thumbs up. We greatly appreciate it. You can leave me a comment. Let me know what's going on for you. Okay. What do we have here? Eight of Wands. So they're thinking about reaching out here. They're thinking about communicating, maybe texting, sending a message. No, this is travel, action, communication, Cupid's Arrows. So they are thinking about taking action in some way, shape, or form, traveling or distance. Page of Wands. There's a communication again. A lot of fire energy here. So you could be dealing with another fire sign. You don't have to be. 
good news coming in, communication, <laughs> maybe telling you, hey, you know, I'm single, I'm free, I'm divorced now. I've been so, <laughs> isolation, you know, pandemic, everyone's been isolated. <laughs> Knight of Wands, wow, a lot of fire here. Could be dealing with another fire sign. Like I said, that's Sagittarius. Someone taking action, looking at the communication, like, okay, yeah, I'm taking action towards that. That's what I need to do. So the Knight of Wands can be like in and out or a player. So I don't know if this person had that type of energy or not. Or this could be them just finally getting in their firepower energy, even if they're not a fire sign, and going after what they want. Like he's revving up to take action here. All right. The Sun. Oh my God, there you are, Leo. There's no doubt, no doubt about it here that they definitely are thinking about you. Happiness, joy, success, victory, enlightenment, healing, success, growth, expansion, happiest card in the deck here, happy home and family, soulmate, twin flame energy. Wow. All right, so we have the three of pentacles and the chariot. Cancer energy here with the chariot, three of pentacles is, maybe you knew this person through work, doesn't have to be, but... Building a new foundation, working together with the Three of Pentacles energy. Wanting to build a new foundation with the Chariot here. Again, another card of action. <laughs> Distance or traveling, success, victory. Going after what we, what we want with a lot of drive, ambition, and balanced energy. Positive movement forward. We have action, action, action. Three cards of action here and wanting to build. You know, slow, steady, just like this Knight of Pentacles, building a new font with their Leo. Happiest card. They, I feel like they're trying, they're finally trusting this path, saying, you know what? Realizing that maybe the way you two came into each other's lives was kind of meant to be. Even if it wasn't the right time before. And by you releasing them to let them figure this out, this is probably what helped them figure this path out. And now they're trusting in that. Because the sun is illuminating for them, and that is also your energy. All right. Temperance. So Sagittarius, again, healing, balance, uh, patient energy. This does bring in joy, happiness, peace. This angel plays with divine alchemy here, alchemy here to bring in what's meant to be at the exact right time. Past lives together. Soulmates meant to be. And I forgot what angel this is, but he's like mixing all the elixirs of life here to make this happen with the sun energy. Wow. Okay. And the ace of swords. Oh my God. It's my divine clarity from source. And we're going to get even more clarity in the extended, just a brief of what we're going to go over in the extended. And we're not done here is we're going to look at. And I'll show you those right there in a bit for your extended. We're going to look at mutual energies, what you're both hoping and wishing for, what the blockages are moving forward and obstacles, what the possible future and outcome may be. We'll get advice for you who was watching this, and we'll get uh, love messages back and forth and mutual, and we'll get letter tiles. So you may get words, names, initials that resonate for you, which I have a whole team right here. So we have the Ace of Swords as my divine clarity from source. Epiphany, awakening, aha moment. Open, honest, truthful communication again that leads to a successful new beginning. Illumination. Cutting away the obstacles no longer serving. Wow. And there's the fool. Wow. Prayers. A new leap of faith. Resetting. A com big conversation here could reset these energies and have a clean slate here to start fresh and new for the new beginning. A leap of faith here. Trusting the path that everything will be fine. Wow, what's next? For oh my God, Ace of Cups next. Brand new beginning in love. Oh my goodness. And what do we have on the bottom of the deck? Four of Wands. Soulmate, Twin Flame, Energy. Dating, getting to know, commitment, marriage, ceremony, celebrations, stability in the home. Someone's been waiting for this with the Three of Wands. I feel like it's been you, Leo. Whether you're waiting but not really waiting, I mean, you, you've kind of been waiting for this. For things to transform with the Death card. King of Pentacles, which is a match to... We had the Queen, I think, under the deck not long ago, which would be a match here. Wow, yeah, Seven Pentacles waiting for this brand new beginning in love. Wow. Right, Leah, we're going to look at these cards to see what we have for the extended before we go over there. And again, everything you need to know is down below. So we have Observe, and we have 
warrior woman have you answered your deepest calling okay so leo and i felt like too also with the star seed here if you've been trying to go after something here's the ace of swords too which is kind of right there is to go after your dreams Stop observing. It's time to take action. And that may be, may, if I can speak, may be a separate message apart from this that some Leos that they're wanting to, you know, go after their dreams and desires with that star energy that probably now is the time. Okay, Leo. I feel like this is a separate message for some. Um, again, if you go to the extended, I shall see you there. If not, best of luck to you. Send you many light, love, and blessings. And I shall see you next time.